to another Star Wars Lego review here on the Brick Station. And I'm reviewing set 9488, the Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack. Here's the box for the set. Ages 6 to 12, 98 pieces, 4 mini figures. Um, and, uh, we have a pretty highly anticipated mini clone trooper minifigure. It's probably my favorite clone trooper out of them all. The Elite Arc Trooper, Advanced Recon Commando Trooper. He looks pretty sweet. Um, and, uh, he's, he's a very unique clone trooper. Unique torso, legs, um, helmet, everything. Uh, and then we have an R Trooper, Advanced Recon Force Trooper, and two brown Commando no Droids. This is a 2012 set, um, but uh, like I said, I'm building a clone base. For, so I have the Battle of Genosis and the Elite, this set. Um, here's the building instructions. And um, that, um, so anyway, let's go to the close-up on the set. Okay, here's the close-up of the LE Clone Trooper and Commander Droid Battle Pack. First of all, we got the minifigures. So, we have the ARC Trooper, Advanced Recon Commando Trooper. Here he is, and uh, he's got epic, an epic helmet with a dark red rangefinder. Awesome printing, it's unique. Um, sorry, not, I don't know if you can see it very well. Here it is. Put it real close. Okay. He has a standard clone trooper head and, uh, special cloths. He has, he has this cool jetpack, backpack, not jetpack, special backpack. He has standard clone trooper armor, except... He has special extra armor on the torso and special unique legs. And then he has special cloths on his torso pauldrons and then his leg comma blaster. They're both made of cloth. And then he has some uh, blaster pistols. Black. And uh, he's pretty awesome. Any figure. He's one of my favorite clone troopers. Then we have the Arf Trooper. And he has... He's... Pretty cool cl clone trooper. Um, he has standard clone trooper head and armor and a blaster rifle, except his torso has dark red arms. And uh, here is his helmet with some special printing on it. And his visor is unique because here is a standard ARF trooper helmet. And you can see there's a difference in the helmets and in the visors. Um, so that's minifigure number two. And then the next two minifigures are brown commando droids. And, uh, they're pretty cool with regular blasters. Next, we have, um, we have the cannon. The mini cannon, which is pretty sweet. It has poseable legs. Um... Uh, Posable with special click hinges and just regular hinges, so like that it can it can go flex a lot of different ways. And then uh, we have this right here. We have this handle with attached to a robot arm, and um, we have we can take the ARF trooper. Sorry, um, take the ARF trooper. Get him ready to sit down like that and then we sit him in the seat and uh, adjust his hands so that he can grab onto the handles and then the cannon moves up and down uh, with some Technics pieces and it has this really cool looking cannon and then it has a golden flick fire missile uh, but you don't actually flick it you take this thing and you push it oops my hand was in the way and you push it it flips them. It doesn't do very well. I'm gonna try and shoot you guys. 
Um, it doesn't shoot very well, so I don't know if it'll work. See? It doesn't shoot very well at all, but it's uh, got gold, and it's just the missile. So you got um, so that's cool. And then, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's got this to hold the, cl this one little cardboard thingy holds both the cloths that are on this ARC Trooper. And then the ARC Trooper also comes with four of these visors. I think two is only necessary, but he comes with four, and they're dark red, and they're really cool. And um, then he comes with four rainfinders, including the one on his head, so those are pretty cool. And then some extra robot arms there, and uh, a few other extra pieces also come in the set. So the set is pretty nice for 13 bucks retail price. Uh, this minifigure is um, only three bucks on Bricklink, although it's one of my favorite clone troopers, just because of the special unique pieces. Uh, but people are selling pretty high, up to fifteen bucks on Bricklink. So um, if you want to check my shop out on Bricklink, it's uh, called the Brick Station. Then uh, click on the link in the description and. Um, Anyway, what I like most about the set is the ARC Trooper, the awesome minifigures that you get in the set. The ARC Trooper is special, unique to this set. Uh, both the clone troopers are unique to the set. The ARC Trooper is different from all the other ones in his printing. And um, the ARC, ARC Trooper is really cool. I don't think I've seen this helmet on any other minifigures before and I've definitely not seen the torso or legs on any other ones so that's pretty cool I like the little legs move on this set it's pretty cool too um, and the cannon moves I just don't like I really don't like how bad the flick missile is look at this see that's horrible it only goes a few inches so it's not the best flick missile that I've seen it's actually one of the worst um, it's a pretty sturdy model Build. It's very small. It fits in your hand. Uh, I bet if you close it up a certain way, you could, you could probably even fit it in your pocket if it's if your pocket's big enough. It can fold up pretty tiny. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I like the commando droids as well. They got the long, a long super battle droid legs, not just regular droid battle droid legs. Anyway, time to rate. Um, Printing on the set, 9 out of 10 because it's epic printing. Um, playbil playability, uh, 10 out of 10. There are plenty of play possibilities with this set. We have uh, durability, probably 8 out of 10. And um, pricing, maybe 6 out of 10 because I don't know how well it's priced. Um, and then age rating, yeah, it's fine. 10 out of 10. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching this short Star Wars Lego review here on the Brick Station. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.